Yeah, the blues is black man's music. It is. But right now, it also belongs to the world. It belongs to whoever can play it. Now, uh, I'm not going to tell any of those people to stop playing the blues because their skin is not black. It belongs to whoever can play it. I don't know if you know, but like back in Singapore, I had known your music. Like when I when I was starting to play, I got really, really into the blues. I was like convinced that I was like an Asian blues man, you know. <laughs> and I was like studying all all the uh, all the uh, the great blues guys, including yourself. I was so excited. And I was like, oh, when can I <laughs> when I can, when can I meet Guy Davis and you came out to my showcase. Oh yeah, man, you ate that thing up. God, you come out on the stage and walk in the <laughs> audience, beating the guitar, left hand, right hand, <laughs> overhand, underhand. You gotta understand, man, um, what I appreciate about your music is that you are an original. I can understand that being that I've looked around the world and I've seen Japanese blues men, and I've seen Australian blues men, and Canadian blues men, and English <laughs> blues men, and blues men everywhere, blues women. and. Um, so don't be shy. I mean, if you want to step up and claim your place, go ahead. But the thing is, you play so much. It's like evolved. You went into this whole evolution scheme. So um, <laughs> it's like there's no holding you back. There's no stopping. It's acoustic and it's electric. It's everything. You get crazy and you think you got the bongo drums, the combo drums, <laughs> the uh, timpanis, and a harp, and a ukulele, and a guitar. And, um, you know, you get you so all over that thing. And then you got the nerve to be singing while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, it's, uh, man, you know, you make the world a happier place to be. Oh, you. you take advantage of um, what's new, what's old. Me, I... I'm just stick with the old pretty much because that's where I am. I got that. It's, the, it's like I feel like I have to compensate, you know, like what you do is just so great by in itself, you know, it's like, it's like immediately it's, it's just complete, you know, like when I watch you play, it's like, it's just complete already, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to do all this other stuff to try and make up for... So you know, I'm going like, to pay you to suck up to me. <laughs> I'm some big original, man. I stole everything I know. The only thing about stealing is then you got to make it your own. You have to, you got to respect it and learn it and play it as if you invented it. Um, man, whatever you do to express yourself, that's what you gotta do. I think all the way back to first meeting Taj Mahal, the, the great acoustic blues man. And um, I heard the stuff he did on his record and he's, he's copying from uh, Mississippi John Hurt and Blind William McTell and Robert Johnson at Sun House. And it felt like this stuff was already inside of me. I just didn't have the skills to make it happen. I just knew from deep down, from way back, that I had something in me that needed to create. Even if it's to take old stuff and recreate it, mm. that's what I had to do. I just, that I knew. That's the only the guitar saved my life. Because otherwise, I, I don't think, I have no idea what I'd be doing if I didn't play the guitar. But what I do satisfies me. And the same thing, see, you said you were looking at me and other blues men thinking, I gotta do all this to compensate. No, man, you, you're just acting up. So he's he's just creative. He was probably when he was a little baby, he probably couldn't keep still. He probably just <laughs> on the furniture, so they gave him a guitar. So I'm going to do this. It's called going down slow. I sent you a gym. And it's uh, maybe one of the finest blues songs ever made. You know, when I was when I was studying guitar, playing guitar and stuff. You know, growing up in Singapore, you know, we would, you know, know all, all about all, all about the, the blues men in, in Chicago and Mississippi and really, you know, look up to it. But because we all, we were so removed, we just read up about it and it, it almost, it, it became very, very sacred, you know. 
there's a whole notion of you know you you have to be black to sing the blues or play the blues. What do you what are your thoughts on that? Well, you just want to get me in the corner here. <laughs> you maybe have to say something and the NSA gonna call you and say, Did you really say that? <laughs> yeah, the blues is black man's music. It is. But right now, it also belongs to the world. It belongs to whoever can play it. And none of the people I know who play the blues, John Hammond, Kelly Joe Phelps, um, Rory Block, Bonnie Reed, the uh, Caucasians who play it, they're not getting super rich because they're, uh, uh, they're, they're necessarily better than uh, the people, the originators of the music. But I think their love makes them play it and play it fully, completely. Now, uh, I'm not going to tell any of those people to stop playing the blues because their skin is not black. I don't think I'm big enough to be telling anybody that. And I don't think that their talent is small enough to be cast aside. But I do want the world to remember where this music called the blues came from. I do want the world to acknowledge that it came from very hard times lived by black people in this country 100, 150 years ago, ever since the Civil War. The people who created the blues came up out of that after Civil War experience. We're talking Ku Klux Klan, inner country terrorism, that kind of stuff. Um, economic hard times. But you can't require that of people anymore, man. The blues belongs to the world now. So I'm going to let that be my answer. That's great. Is there anything else? Oh, there's only one other thing. John Angus, he's all young and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate him. He, he, he just come and man, I got I got to spend 15 minutes put, putting on my wig and my my power <laughs> and my dress and I mean my sorry. <laughs>